Continuing our coverage tonight, we brought this to you as breaking news last night at 11. Tonight, 17 people are now free after they were arrested on the campus of the University of North Florida during a pro-Palestine protest Thursday night. The majority of the people who were arrested are students at the university. Rich Donnelly has been tracking this story from the Duval County Jail all day. and He joins us live from downtown tonight. Uh, Rich, what are the protesters and the university saying about the arrest? Well, Anthony, I can say within the last hour, another rally has started here on the steps of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Police Memorial Building. They're once again calling for the divestiture of the University of Florida with companies that do business with the nation of Israel. Now, the protesters last night, going back to Thursday night's arrests, were given the verbal direction to leave the UNF Green at 10 p.m., and they were considered trespassing when they did not comply. The students we spoke with today said that a night in jail will not stop them from their cause. Throughout the day, a group of protesters waited outside of the jail to greet three protesters who were released before 1 p.m. Some even made care packages while they waited. UNF sophomore Icarus Olson said he has no regrets about being arrested at the protest. I did what I had to do for and and matters of forwarding our movement. He and others are calling on the university to release information showing they are not doing business with companies that support Israel. 14 of the 17 protesters had their first appearance in the afternoon and were released on their own recognizance. Rama Abdul Jawad is one of the protesters. Her lawyer says she has no prior criminal history. She's a very important member of our community. She has four small children. So this is very upsetting that they were trying to uh, peacefully protest and this is the response that we get. Protesters gathered in the jail waiting room to support their friends. The judge said the protesters who were not students cannot go back to UNF. Those who are students have to wait for the university to decide whether they'll be allowed back on campus. UNF has not made its decision public for the students who are protesters, but did hold multiple sessions of graduation ceremonies without interruption. Olson said he plans to continue protesting until the university ceases investment in companies that do business with Israel. This hasn't stopped me. This hasn't deterred me. It does, honestly, seeing what they want to do, how they have been treating students and seeing how I've been treated, this adds more of a spark. Again, the rally outside of JSO headquarters continues right now at this hour. They've been going on for roughly an hour at this point. We can say that they've been calling for the release of all of the protesters who were arrested last night. And we can say, in fact, all 17 of the protesters who were arrested Thursday night have been released from jail. Now they are due back in court on May 13th for another hearing. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.